Nicholas wanted to own a dairy farm ever since he was little, but when the price of milk started dropping, his dreams turned sour. I didn't expect not to be able to make a living out of my job. When I chose to go out on my own, I didn't expect it to be a choice between life or death. It's now a battle to make ends meet. Nicholas struggles with vet's bills and faces tough decisions when treating a sick calf costs more than a healthy one would fetch at market. His vet gives him credit, but says it's a pity to see farmers fall on hard times. These people have been getting fed up with working under those conditions, and in our business we're seeing more and more people having problems making payments. And the worst part is that it's the farms that we used to be able to rely on to settle their bills regularly that are progressively having more trouble. Milk prices started to fall significantly in Europe two years ago. Some farmers blame a surge in global demand in 2007, which led to a glut in production. They also blame the European Union for raising milk quotas. They now want EU help to ensure prices don't fall even further. But that might come too late for Nicholas. He can't afford to pay suppliers, his water has been cut off, and he copes by using a well. The stress is taking its toll on his family. They now survive on his partner's maternity pay of just 500 euros a month. From one year to the next, we have no money to do anything for the house or for us. I'm angry because we would have been OK. It's a viable business. We had no concerns before the crisis, and then all of a sudden we can no longer see into the future. We don't know what we are going to do. As a last-ditch measure, Nicholas has applied for legal protection from creditors. His debt will be frozen for up to a year while he battles to save his business. After that, a judge will decide whether his farm will continue on or not.